Okay, here we go. We got some Halloween stuff going on down here, so keep your eyes open for some pretty old engineers. Those are the mine trains on the left. They dug lead out of the mines in Bonterre. Bonterre mines are closed and full of water now. Guess what? They're doing boat tours. Coming up directly in front of us is the Aero Train, built in 1955 by a division of General Motors. Oh, we have Casper the Ghost on the right here. And behind that is the rail bus. Behind the Aero Train, the rail bus took oil workers the oil fields. Uh-oh, look at all these old engineers hanging on the caboose. Look at them, oh my goodness. Boy, that one guy, he looks like he's just barely hanging in there. Okay, now here comes Tom Turkey, let's say hello. Now that was a good turkey. Okay. Okay, there's the graveyard for old engineers. Oh boy. All right, we're getting ready to cross over our little bridge. Our little bridge was originally a manually operated turntable built in 1923 in South St. Louis. One person could operate this and put the engine in the roundhouse at night or move it from the front of the train to the back to go the other way. Okay, we have a jet plane on the right, built in 1945. That's a trainer, a T-33. horse-drawn road grader and we just acquired another one so we'll be putting that out we'd like to put a horse in front of it not a real one and look at the old-time steamrollers that's how they used to roll out road beds and rail beds in yesteryear tell me how long ago was yesteryear that's an indeterminate amount of years it's a long time ago Okay, coming up by the Visitor Center, 1952 Steel Caboose. Wabash is the only air railroad that built their own cabooses. Santa will be in that caboose if it's warm enough this year. And look at the sign. Santa will fly in by helicopter and land right here the Saturday after Thanksgiving.
folks. We've got a bone on the right. If you don't know what the bones represent, I will tell you. And coming up on the little train set, we have a bone on the left. those bones represent and who is a very famous railroad personality. Over a hundred years ago, this little pup was in upstate New York on a cold and rainy night and he sneaked into the mail room and fell asleep on the mail bag. Well, lo and behold, in came Owen the mailman to load up the train. And he and the pup bonded. So they said, whose dog is that? All the mailmen were wondering. And they said, well, it must be Owen's dog. Look how they're getting along. So they named the dog after Owen. They named it Oni. Oni rode the rails for many years all over the United States delivering mail. And then what happened? One day, he ended up getting on a steamship out of Seattle, Washington and went around the world. Now that was over a hundred years ago. Where is Oni today? Well, if you go into our visitor center in the showcases opposite the restroom, you can see a picture of Oni as he sits in the museum in Washington, D.C. He is in the postal wing of the Smithsonian. Oni, the unofficial rail mail dog. Now, what were you thinking of so far? the Kemp Auto Museum in Chesterfield, which is now closed down. They gave it to us with a few other cars, and Andrew, our creative employee, painted it and thought it would make a nice centerpiece in our flower bed. And I thought he, I think he did a good job there. I think that was a really good job. Thank you.